Let's go make the best of So we are about to make our oppa, original Enugu oppa night now. So these are ingredients. This is our uh, grinded and sieved oppa. You can see the oppa powdered and very soft because it has been sieved. And this is our turning bowl. This is our turning bowl. This is our pepper. Can you see our pepper? This is our pepper. It's looking like this because uh, we just brought it out from the fridge. So these are fresh pepper blended and it's brought out from the fridge. This is our oil. We are not going to use all this, but this is our oil. This is our warm water. This water is supposed to be warm, not hot, but not, uh, not lukewarm. So it's closer to hot than to warm. So just lukewarm, um, just warm water, but not lukewarm. Then this is our measuring cup. We are going to use it to measure out the the upper from here. And then we are also going to use it to measure out the already liquid thing after turning. This is our spoon if necessary. And then this is our nylon that we are going to use to tie it. This is like a moi moi nylon. If you get to the market. And this is our salt. So... Welcome to Star Optimist. Remember to subscribe if you like what we are doing here. We do some cooking tips and then some tips around your home and your finances. So let's get straight into it. So with your already washed hand, we are going to measure. For this purpose, we are using four cups. Can you see this cup? It's just a very small cup. So we are using these four cups of the upper. So we're using four cups. So the English name for this oppa is Bambara nut. If you go to the market, you can just ask for oppa, for the seed. Um, it's more advisable to buy the seed and then blend it by yourself than to buy already blended one. So you just blend. If the market, if they are saving in your own market, you can see there. If they are not, you can use them. Um, sieve at home to sieve it what's the kind of sieve yeah. you don't even know the name and i've forgotten the name of that sieve actually okay so this is three cups i'm wondering if this turning bowl can take four so i'm ending at three instead of the four just to be sure that our turning bowl can take it so we just finished our measuring. Pasta. Okay. So I'll just drop it here for the time. So we are going to add our oil. We are going to add our oil. Can you see the much that we've added? So we'll check if it's enough so you just start turning with your hand hold it for me hold the bowl you can see yes i prefer using my hand you can see that this oil has not gone around at all so pasta add oil use your two hands more more just add 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 more add more add more add more add more Add more, add more. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Drop it. Drop it. So hold the bowl with your two hands. With your two hands on. You get a grip of it. Uh -huh. So we turn. Turn, 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 and turn. So you can see. I think with this we are okay. I this oil should be able to turn it as if it's to give you a liquid turn. You can hold it. Take. So turn. turn it. Come closer. So, 
You turn, you can see, raise your hand up so that you can see well. Mm -hmm. Hold it like that. So you can see that this oil was just enough to give us a liquid tone. When you start having mercy on your oil, that's when you struggle with your upper. But if you can be a bit generous with your oil, then you're not going to have problem. Why you to So, raise it up a bit so that you can have a good view. Don't bend, don't bend. So we turn it, just turn it as much as possible. So as you can see, you turn it, just turn it as much as like just three to five minutes so that you mix it very well, very, very, very well. So you can see, we don't have any seed or anything, so it's smooth now. So you turn it to smooth and make sure it's well mixed. Three to five minutes is enough if the quantity is not much. So at this point, we can start adding our water. I'm just confirming if it's still lukewarm and it's still lukewarm. So we add the water little by little. So you add and turn. Don't be in a hurry to add so much. Because if you add so much, it will even cost more work for you. So the smaller, the better at a time. Just small water at a time, small water at a time. This whole process doesn't take more than 30 minutes. Turning it doesn't take more than 30 minutes. Cooking it, maybe 30 minutes to one hour is enough. You can see at this point, I add more water. Keep turning. You can use your turning stick if it's more comfortable for you, for you, but I feel my hand is more comfortable for me, so that's why I use my hand. If your turning stick is more comfortable for you, you use it. So. Because for me, at some point, I have to like use my fist to Turn serve it. as a turning stick. So you can see, I've mixed the water that I already added well, and I add more. So we add more, keep turning, keep turning until it's well mixed. That's it. So you can see that this is smooth again, but we've still not gotten the consistency that we need. The consistency that we need for this upper is just like somebody making pap. You know how thick you mix your pap before adding hot water? That's just the consistency that we are going to. But you don't add it at once. So this is the last of this water in this cup. You can see the size of the cup. So we've exhausted this and we're going to add more after mixing. You can see I'm breathing heavy a little. But it's not that hard. It's because I'm standing. If you're sitting. I'm sure of this. No. It's not that hard if you're sitting. So we keep mixing more hot water. From the... Keep mixing, keep half mixing. Half hot, half cold. Oh. So keep mixing. Keep mixing. So, we've still not gotten the consistency that we want. Still keep turning, turning, turning. Okay, 
So you can see this is soft already, but we still haven't gotten the consistency that we need. Can you see? It's still too thick. Still too thick. You can see we don't have any. There's no hump lump. You can see it's very smooth. That's the result you get when you're patient in adding the water. You add a little, you mix. Add a little, you mix. So you can see lumpless and smooth. So we add a little more. This is our second cup of water. You can see it's not filled. Add. Start turning it again. Gently at first so that it doesn't spill. So that it doesn't spill. If you've not subscribed to our channel, please remember to click the subscribe button, follow or subscribe. And if you have other options, if you have other ideas, you can drop your comment. If you have questions, you can drop your comment. I'd always attend to it. Okay. So we are getting closer, you can see. But it's still very thick, but we are getting closer. It's still very thick, but we are getting closer. Remember the ingredients for this are up. It's just oil, salt, and pepper. We are not adding any other thing. Just oil, salt, and pepper. So I added more water. And that. So we are adding the last. See the consistency. You can see. But we still need more water. So I'm adding the last part of this. Our second cup of water. To continue that. So this is our third cup of water. But we are obviously not going to use up to half of it. But I just wanted you to see that this is our third cup of water. See the consistency that we have before that. See the consistency that we have. It, we are almost there. But I just want to add a little more water. So just a little more. You can see. Just a little more. So this is like saying we use two and a half cups. This cup is a big cup. Oh. It's a big cup. Like it's almost the height of my phone. It's like six inches. So. So. I think we have the consistency that wants just a flowing consistency. Not so flowy, but a flowing consistency. And that is it. Post. So I've washed my hand and we are going back to using a spoon because we've gotten the consistency that we need. So you can see it's just a little thick but flowing consistency. Leave him alone. Thick but flowing consistency. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Subscribe and follow. So now we are going to add our salt and pepper. So we're going to add our pepper and our salt. So I'm going to add plenty pepper. Like plenty, like plenty. Or but just takes anything you put inside it. And I think it's because of um, the oil that goes first. So because of the oil that goes first, it absorbs anything you put inside it. Both salt and pepper. Any other thing that comes after the oil. I think in general cooking, actually. Anything that comes after pepper, after oil, tends to like be absorbed. So I'm putting as much as this, and I know it will take it. So we just turn it, we just turn it, we just turn it. We just turn it. Are you going to test? Yes. Just turn it. So without um salt that I added, I think it's good enough. But I'll just add just a little, just a little more, just to shine it, just to shine the taste. Just, so just to shine it, I'm adding this very small quantity of salt as an extra to shine it and we are good to go so with this we are okay 
and we are good and ready to start tying it into our nylon. So we are going to start turning it. In fact, for every one cup I turn again, for every one cup I turn again because upper can easily sediment. So this is the quantity I'm pouring for nylon. So you just have it this way. Roll it up a bit. Roll it up a bit and then tie it. So this is our boiling water and we add it one at a time. So if you tie one, you put it. You don't wait for the rest. You tie one, you put it. So remember I said for every one, you still turn again to avoid sedimenting. To avoid having two colors up and down. So... Just roll it a bit to avoid spill and tie it. So this is the second one. We just add it. That. So we just turn it again a bit. Add our. More. I will tie it. So here we go with the third one. We add it. So that's just how you add it. Remember, please, before you start, make sure it's fully boiling water fully boiling water before you even start adding the first one so so this is the last one you can see it's empty so this is our last one so this is our last one so remember to subscribe to our channel star optimist and this is our last one so we'll be back to see in 30 minutes to see how it is I love how it's boiling. Ah, this is a good view. Can you see? So remember, you add it when the water is already boiling and the water you're going to use and mix it should be a very hot water. So this is 30 minutes later and we are here to taste our okma. Can you see how lovely it is? So we are here to taste our okma. So this is 30 minutes later and this is our upper. You can see we are very, very close. We are very, very close. One hour is always the best time. So you can see that it's done from here almost, just almost done. Just one hour is the best cook time. So in one hour time, we'll open another one to check and we are good to go. So this is one hour later and... We are here to test another one to see how it turns out.